Hey there, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve exercise problem 4-4 from simulation with Arena Let's go. On your screen, you can see a simulated environment of a, a two type of parts processing. So let's first leave the test and then move back to the Arena workplace. Okay, so here you can see the exercise 4-4. The 4-4 uh, exercise case problem is there are two type of parts that actually enter to the simulated environment. Type 1 of parts arrive with an inter-arrival time that follows the load normal distribution and its parameter values are 11.5 hours and load normal uh, distribution standard deviation is 2.0 hours. The first part arrive at time 0 and these arriving parts wait in queue designated only for part types 1 and when the human operator is available then the process would be started and the processing time is following the triangular distribution with its parameter value of 5, 6 and 8 hours. Parts of type 2 arrive with inter-arrival time that follows the exponential distribution with mean of 15.1 hours. The first arrival is at time 0 and these parts also wait but on a setting queue that is designated for types 2 only and the process is uh, start working when the operator is available and it follows a triangular distribution with its parameter 3, 7 and 8 hours. After being processed by the human operator, all parts are sent for processing to an automated machine that not require any human operator and the processing time of this automated machine is follow the triangular distribution with parameter of 4, 6 and 8 hours. So we need to actually simulate uh, this uh, two type of parts simulated system and we are run this simulation for 5000 hours to determine the following parameter that is total time in system and the average number of items in the tube. So, Without wasting your time, let's move back to the Arena home screen and let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, so on your screen, you can see the model is constructed for the said problem 4-4. Here you can see under basic process, we are simply at the create module for part 1 arrival and rename the entity type as part 1 and enter the expression of time between arrival that follow the load normal distribution but right now uh, if uh, how you can actually add it simply right click on it click the build expression and under the random distribution select the load normal distribution and type here the load normal distribution parameter as mentioned under the trace problem okay so in this way you can add the expression and the units available are in blockers entities per arrival its value is 1 and the first creation is 0 and then simply click ok then add an other create module for part 2 arrival and entity type in this case is part 2 and it follows the random as per distribution and its value is 15.1 hours and the remaining fields uh, would be 1 for entities per arrival Max arrival is infinite and the first creation is zero. And then to accomplish all the system in which uh, the parts is actually required the human for processing, so we need to add the assignment module. So add the assignment module from basic process panel and here you can see the assign module. We can call it as assignment as well as we can call it assign. So rename it the module name as assign part 1 start time and here I am gonna uh, type the uh, for adding the attribute in this case using the assign module so the type of my assignment is attribute and the name of attribute is start time so simply type from your keyboard that is start time and under this attribute name here you need to uh, uh, mention the global variable that is t now that is available in arena library already then again click ok now repeat the same step for the second type of part here again uh, the assignment type is attribute and the name of the attribute is again start time and its value is t now so these two modules actually record the time for each type of parts that enter to the simulated environment. And then add 
a process module again from the basic process panel and rename it as part 1 human processing. The action is cease delay release and the resource name I am using it here as the human operator and you need to cease release value is 1 as precise in the text. And the processing time is follow the triangular distribution time units in hours and simply add these uh, values um, for uh, or the parameter values for the triangular distribution. Okay, so then again repeat the process for part 2 human processing and again add the human operator and its unit to seize value is again 1 and again it follows the triangular distribution. Okay, so let's move uh, to the basic process panel and here you can see under the attribute the start time attribute is shown so you it's a two way process you can also add the start time under this spreadsheet uh, window and then assign to the assign module so it's purely depends upon the individual okay so i'm actually add the resource of human operator and the human operator is uh, type is fixed capacity that its value is 1 as precise in the touch problem okay so now after the processing of these two part types the parts move to the automatic machine so again add another process module and rename it as the automatic machine operation and here add the resource as automatic machine its processing time is again following the triangular distribution with its parameter values of 4, 6 and 8 hours. And then uh, later on add the record module uh, to accomplish or to uh, put or uh, show the result that was required in the problem. So here you can see I am uh, using the record module for accomplishing the result and the type for under the record module I am selected under statistics uh, definition is time interval its attribute name is start time that is actually defined prior under the assign module and the tally name uh, that actually shows uh, on the report is the record cycle time for all part types together so this uh, counter or the tally name is actually represent uh, the part time for all type of parts as a whole and then simply click ok and then again click ok and then simply exit uh, the system the parts actually exit the system using the dispose module ok so here uh, under the resource spreadsheet you can see the human operator and automatic machine is added that was add uh, these three process module and the capacity of uh, these two operator is 1 1 uh, okay so we have actually only one resource for the human processing that is uh, available for processing these two type of parts okay as precise in the text problem and under the queue you can see we have the queue configuration for these two type of parts separately so here you can see part one human processing and part two processing queue and then automatic machine operation dot queue and under the entity I am using uh, to simulate the entity as a picture dot red ball for part 1 and picture dot green ball for part 2. Okay, so this is the animation of the model. So how we can build it simply you need to move uh, the queue from here to there. So this would be adding using these uh, draw module and if you want to learn how we can simulate or add animation under arena you can check out uh, my simulation with arena learning playlist links added in description below. Okay so here you can see the part 1 human processing view that is simply added using the text string again here and there as well. So how we can add the resource animation? For adding the resource animation, you need uh, need to move to this animate toolbar, and here when you click uh, this resource, you uh, jump to the arena resource library. Here, uh, in this way, you can add the resource. So I'm uh, adding the human operator for idle and busy state 
and uh, its identifier is the human operator and this uh, will automatically pop up on your screen when you add the resource on your arena model window so how you can process different current libraries simply click this open and here you can see uh, you can follow this path for uh, jump back uh, or jump to the arena library folders so from here you can select multiple templates right right now my template that was open is the machine.plb and here you can see the different kind of machine and i am randomly select one kind of machine that is this one from this menu okay so that's it uh, so after that move to the run setup window and here under replication parameter uh, parameter uh, type 1 for the number of replication and replication length is 5000 uh, hours as precise in the problem and base time units in hours that's it so let's uh, run the model so here you can see uh, different type of parts enter to the system and these color indication uh, differentiate between the part 1 and part 2 and here is the resource that is providing its services to part 1 and part 2 and this is the automatic machine. So each of the state is actually clearly indicating for uh, the uh, server idleness or busy state. Okay, so let's fast forward it to view the results okay so simply click this yes button okay so the report is open and here uh, you can see the report cycle time for all part types together that is uh, mentioned under the under specified folder because uh, this uh, time is computed using the record module and for resources here you can see the instantaneous utilization number busy and some other stats right and for queues there this report is showing the queues information and this one is for the processing times and this is for entities value added time right so you can also view the result in a summarized manner that is required in exercise so every cycle time is 31 by 9796 and average time for part 1 and part 2 q is this these values are come from the report that is showing prior okay so it's all about exercise uh, for dash 4 if you want to watch more these uh, exercises then consider subscribing take care